It's a new sky today and I'm so pleased to meet a gentleman by the name of George here at 2nd Parklands Avenue who's used beam and block to solve a particular problem. Let's find out how. The building that we have over here needed extra space for their cars. We have around 12 apartments and I was seeing a way that uh, each apartment gives them around three parkings. We're talking about around 36 of them. So the 36 with this kind of space is small. So we need more, more, more space for the car park. And what they decided to do is increase the parking space by creating storage of their water right underneath. If these tanks were up, they would have eaten the space of the, the parking. But this is now, so many people, people who want more parking space, as well decided to put them underneath. So what's right below me is, well, what? Four tanks? Yes, there are four tanks right below here. You can see that they've used beam and block technology. And we're able to use this breakfast concrete because of future access. If in the future one tank gets spoiled, all of them get spoiled, or there's a puncture, or it's a break, somebody can be able to the tree very well, remove the, the breakfast, the blocks, the, the breakfast channels, replace the tank, then again get back the breakfast panels the way they are. In the unlikely event that they have to do some maintenance work right below here, it will be easier for them to have access right over there. The maintenance and access is just behind, on the side, on the side of the, the chamber. So one goes down, then gets access inside, then goes down, then it can do maybe water when there's the pipes are leaking or something like that, it can be able to access. What I'm learning is, is that there are bulbs right underneath and they've put in adequate lighting facilities. But the socket, you have to switch it on outside, not inside there. It's about to switch from out for safety reasons, the switch is outside the chamber. So even if there's a lot of water inside there, there's no way it can get, it can shock anybody. Do you have a natural drain for the water? Yes. That is, if there's few water inside, if they, maybe the tank has cracked or this. The you know, the rain, there's no way the rain, rain water will get inside there. Because on top you want to cover with a 50 millimeter thickness of concrete, then put some uh, paving blocks on top. Because they call them the, the cup rock. yes. How long did it take you to put this together? One day. Yeah? One day. Just one day? Yes. The panels and the, 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 the blocks? Yes. One day. Oh wow. Yeah. Around 64 pieces of the, pan, the panels uh -huh. and 570 blocks. Wow. With the one skilled labor and the three and an skilled labor. Yeah? Makes your work very, very easy, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's very easy and faster. Next time, if I'm doing an apartment, or a machine it, and I want to be there within one month, I'll use this. For real? For real, I'll use this. One day, I'm done with my first lap, the following day is plaster. What does it save you? Time, also cost. I cannot be exact, there's the amount, you know, the percentage of the cost I'm saving, but time is going to cost me, it won't save me a lot. Within a month, I can be able to, to stay in house. Okay. Yes. I guess this is the technology that should be used by people who are getting to build. Uh, yes, I can advocate this for most guys who are, who are coming up now. People are paying land each and every time. Now somebody wants to get a house very fast, this is the best technology can do. Within a month or two months time, the house is complete with the paint, with everything else. Somebody can, can get it. So having spoken to George, we can now understand and appreciate what it's like to create solutions in spaces which you never thought you could use it for, like this one.